So I had a few requests um, online uh, from some friends and some people in the uh, Parsec Discord server that I chat with um, just to go ahead and do a quick demo. Um, this is basically a, uh, a demonstration of a system that I set up for my kids. Um, the project goal was to set up a plug and play uh, type of system that uses um, paper space uh, and Parsec to um, basically be a turn on and go type of a gaming system, basically a cloud gaming system. Um, so um, this utilizes uh, paper spaces uh, GPU plus um, product uh, mixed with their uh, paper space API using Node.js. Um, all the documentation is available on their website if you're interested. Um, using a kangaroo Windows machine um, I do note in the video that I, you can use it kind of with anything. I actually have it using, uh, working with a Raspberry Pi as well. Um, that uh, then calls out to um, to PaperSpace, uh, PaperSpace's API to make a call to wake up or start the machine. Um, and then once that machine is ready to go, um, it goes ahead and reports that back to the Kangaroo using uh, command line, um, which then starts the uh, connection using Parsec, um, which is an amazing project. Um, Got to go check them out. Um, ParsecGaming.com, um, which allows the, uh, the lossless video and uh, controller um, connections. And that um, after that, uh, Parsec makes the connection. Um, the machine automatically starts Steam Big Screen. Uh, my setup, you'll see it runs a couple of uh, scripts in the background um, to um, start Steam Big Screen, um, but um, that's only because I also use the gaming machine for myself uh, to play Guild Wars 2 and some other games, uh, Kerbal. But um, as long as you set up yours to automatically just start Steam Big Screen using a uh, script that you can write. Uh, you don't have to have that in your script. So, uh, anyway, um, done rambling here. Um, again, this is my first YouTube video that I'm putting out there, um, but it's it's a pretty cool project um, that uh, my kids and I kind of worked on together. And um, yeah, so hopefully you enjoy the live demo. Okay, so this is the live demo here. I'm gonna apologize for the crappy camera quality. Um, this is the uh, Basically, the gaming system that I, not the PlayStation, you can ignore the PlayStation. Uh, this is the gaming system that I set up for my kids uh, using um, a kangaroo computer uh, mixed with uh, Parsec, oh, excuse me, uh, Parsec, uh, paper space using their API, uh, two uh, Xbox One S controllers connected to the kangaroo um, system. I also have a script that I'll demo here. So first things first is basically going ahead and plugging in the kangaroo. Um, I basically have this um, plugged in to the docking port and then a four port USB and this camera is being horrible. Uh, four port USB for using additional controllers if I want to use uh, corded or to charge the Xbox One S controllers. I'll go, to, go ahead and power this up. <clears throat> While it's doing that, I'm going to go ahead and power on the Xbox One S controllers, so they're starting to call home, and it would help if the TV was turned on. But what will happen here is um, the kangaroo will boot up the operating system, you'll hear see here in a second. Um, and then I have a script to go ahead and call um, paper space to wake the machine up and then automatically connect. As you can see here, uh, the Xbox One S controllers have connected to the Windows operating system. Um, <coughs> excuse me. This should work with any, um, doesn't have to be Windows. I actually have this running on a Raspberry Pi as well, uh, similar command line script. And uh, I just kind of have this cool little background here just for the kids. Again, this was a Christmas gift I have set up for them. And there we go. It's using Paper Spaces API, using Node.js uh, to go ahead and make the call to start the machine. 
Um, it'll take a few minutes here for the machine, a few seconds here for the machine to go ahead and report back that it's ready uh, through the API. And again, I'm just using a simple command line script um, written with uh, using the uh, uh, paper space API calls. So this is all in their documentation. And uh, I also have a script that runs, you'll see this at the end of the process here, that will um, run other commands. I use this gaming console system, or this gaming, the paper space for other gaming needs. Um, so I just have a little script that runs that calls and wakes up uh, Steam big screen here. And there we go. As you can see, paper space. Uh, API has reported that the machine is ready uh, to be connected to. And I just have a 30-second timer there to uh, allow for the paper space machine to completely wake up and for Parsec to go ahead and uh, be ready for the connection. The script will then go ahead and call Parsec uh, locally using the client end. Um, and then it has the machine ID hard-coded to it. And there's the call for big screen. And we should have Parsec making the connection. There it is. And there is the Steam big screen. Alrighty. Now, the last time I attempted to do this, <coughs> I fumbled the controller. So we're going to try a little bit of different. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Oops, there we go. Steam big screen use uh, has already detected the controller. As you can see, we have control here. Um, I also have family view set up, so I only have a few games available to me. We'll go ahead and boot up a game here. Again, this is all using the controller. Um, launch Lego Worlds here real quick, one of my son's favorite games right now. Sorry for the delay. I wanted to show this in real time just to see um, what the kids see from a perspective in YouTube. Here we go. Good old Lego logo here. Again, this is all done using the controller. Uh, there we go. Go ahead and play. And thanks to uh, Parsec, um, that team is awesome, by the way, um, Benji and his team, the um, second controller um, does actually get picked up by Parsec and um, allows you to um, become a player two to do split screen. You can see that there, it does detect the controller. This also will allow you to use Parsec's client. Um, if you don't have a second controller, um, you can connect from another machine. And for some odd reason, my son is a uh, criminal here, but we'll go ahead and grab the other controller. And just simply tapping on the A button here. There it is, it detected the second controller. I should be able to, there we go. And the second controller, that's probably my daughter's character. But um, as you can see, I have full control um, over this via Bluetooth. And again, that was the, the, the real key is um, I wanted a, a system that would allow my kids to um, simply plug the device in and um, boot up uh, automatically into the cloud system. Um, and then... Um, just be able to get right in and play games so without much effort and I wanted something wireless um, I had originally uh, had this set up with uh, PlayStation 3 controllers wired in um, didn't particularly care for it and uh, somebody on the uh, Parsec team uh, recommended or Parsec uh, 
<clears throat> Discord server um, recommended I go ahead and try the Xbox One S controllers, and they work fantastic. Um, the nice thing, and I <clears throat> instructed my kids to go ahead and make sure that when they um, when they're done. Uh, Steam Big Screen gives you the capability to turn off the system, and what that does is it will ensure that the um, the uh, paper, paper space machine turns itself automatically off, so you're not getting charged anymore. Um, and there's Parsec kind of crying about the uh, the disconnect, um, but um, all I have to do is uh, just push the power button on the side of the kangaroo, um, and there is the kangaroo shut down. Um, that's just a simple setting inside of Windows. So, uh, again, I apologize for the uh, horrible uh, quality of this video. It's my first video here, but I figured uh, we had I had some requests to show this off. Um, so, if you have any questions, give me a holler in the comments. We'll talk to you later.